Hello, my name is Isbeth Garcia, and I'm a, I'm a photography major student at the High School of Fashion Industries, and today we're here with the leading industry photographer, Bob Krasner. Hello, Bob. I would like to ask you a few questions about your exciting career. Are we ready to begin? Okay, sure. Okay. So how long have you been in this position? Um, I've, been, uh, I've been working for myself as a photographer for over 30 years. And what would you say is your typical work like? Yeah, there's no, there's no such thing as a typical work day. I'm freelance, so there are days when I get up at, uh, at the crack of dawn to go shoot a job. There are days when I work until very late at night um, shooting and or processing or whatever. So, um, yeah, they're really... They're, there are times when I have jobs where it's the, you know, I have a, a, a schedule from day to day, um, but it, that could change, you know, at any time. Okay. And what would you say is your, like your best and least thing that you like about your job and why? Um, well, uh, the thing I like the least is the business end of it, um, which is extremely important, but um, it's just not, you know, my, uh, my forte. Um, the, uh, the best part is just taking great pictures. I, I work with really uh, fascinating people and I get a lot of really interesting assignments. Um, sometimes I get really boring assignments, but I can deal with that. I'd still rather, you know, have a really boring assignment than, uh, than be doing just about anything else. And who or what was your favorite subject to photograph? My favorite subject to photograph, um, boy, that's really that's a tough one. I, I, uh, I photographed a lot of really, really fascinating people, and but I also really love doing abstract photography. So, um, I guess in terms of uh, in terms of people, I've had some some great experiences. Uh, one of my favorite jobs was shooting Bill Clinton at a uh, private fundraising event for Obama. And that was back, that was in 2012. Um, and it was great because my job was to follow him around at this small party and <clears throat> it was sort of a cocktail party kind of thing. And um, eventually he made a speech. A lot of other people did too, but I had to follow him around and take pictures of him talking to the various people. And um, it was fascinating because he was just so incredibly engaged with everyone that he spoke to. And I just, I loved seeing that. I loved seeing, you know, the hardest part about the, the job was that he kept getting stuck with various groups of people because he was so passionate about what he was talking about that he forgot to, um, sorry, he forgot to move on to the next group. Um, and it resulted in one of my favorite portraits, which um, what came about because at one point he had, uh, I think he had already given his, his speech and someone else was speaking and he sat down next to the the person who was speaking it was a uh, it was a beautiful private home on uh in new york city um with a great big floating staircase and it was very wide and i had photographed events there before and people would stand on the stairs and and give their speeches and i noticed that clinton had sat down and where he was sitting the light on him was absolutely gorgeous and I had been told by one of his handlers not to take any more pictures. And I realized that if I just ran under the stairs over to the other side, it would be a beautiful picture. So I, I looked over and the handler was texting somebody. So I ran under the stairs. I took the picture. I ran back under the stairs. I looked at the guy. He was still texting. Never saw me never saw me move and uh it really resulted in one of my favorite photos
That's great, Mr. Krasner. And what would you say, what led you to your career, your job? Um, I, I love photography ever since I was in high school. Um, I realized when I was in high school that, uh, that if I worked for the school paper, I could get in free to concerts. So I started, uh, I started getting assignments and going to concerts for free. And it was amazing at the time that somebody on a high school paper um, could actually get access. And sometimes they let me backstage. And, um, but I, I, I quickly realized that uh, I really, I just love photography and I've been doing it ever since. I went to college for it. And when I came to the city, I, um, I worked for a lighting company and then I worked uh, as an assistant for a while before I started on my own. Oh, that's great. And what type of interests, abilities, and skills would you help a person to be successful in your occupation? Well, if if you're going to be uh, if you're going to be working with people, you have to be able to get along with people. You have to be able to talk to pretty much anybody about anything. Um, you have to be able to get people to relax and. You know, obviously you have to have some kind of technical ability. You need to know how to use the equipment. You need to you need to learn all the rules before you start. Um, you don't necessarily have to follow all the rules, but you do need to learn them. Um, you need to have some kind of, you know, you need to generally you need to have some artistic ability. You need to kind of see uh, the big picture. Um, you need to look at, be able to look at things from different angles. Um, you need to be patient. Um, there are, are so many times when you've got you've got an instance where you just have to wait and wait and wait for the opportunity to take your picture, whether you're waiting for the subject or if it's an event, um, or even if it's even if you're shooting something. That's uh, that's not moving. If you're shooting still life, you have to you have to have certain you have to have a certain amount of patience. You have to be able to to wait for the right time to take the picture, and you have to totally be uh, be present when when that time comes. Going same with the previous questions, and what type of education or training or technical knowledge or experience is necessary for this kind of work? Um, well, you really, like I said, you need to learn the basics. You need to learn the technical aspects of things, even if, even if you want to be an artist that breaks all the rules, you still have to learn what those rules are. And so, um, I think that, you know, in terms of a college experience, the, everything that you learn in college goes towards your, you know, the kind of the, the building up of your brain so that even if you are, you know, learning things that are not related to photography, it's still, it's still a process of, of becoming the kind of person who can take good pictures. Um, the main thing though is to learn everything you need to know technically Photoshop is, is a key thing, but it's not something that you should plan to rely on because even though you can fix a lot of things with Photoshop, you still need to learn how to take a good picture that you can work with to begin with. Um, and I think that working for other photographers is really a key thing. You, you learn so much, you know, I certainly did as an assistant being out in the field and watching how things are done and watching how problems are dealt with because one of the one of the main things of being a photographer is learning how to deal with problems you have to like in so many things you have to plan plan for everything as much as you can and then you have to be able to throw everything out the window when when something happens that means that you can't do what you thought you were going to do um, so so I guess that basically the, the two things are learning the basics, learning the technical skills, and working with a photographer who's, who's in the field that, that you want to be in. And even, 
and even <clears throat> you know when I when I first started, I I actually thought I was I wanted to be a fashion photographer, and I worked for a couple fashion photographers, and I realized that it really was not something that uh, that I was good at. So working for a lot of different photographers will give you the um, the insight into what it is that you're that you're really good at doing. And what advice would you give a student interested in this career? Um, I, I think that my main advice to anybody who wants to become a photographer is uh, not to forget that it's a business. Um, and again, even if you're an art photographer, you still have to sell your work. So finding work, selling yourself, um, all of those things are really important because if you can't deal with that end of the of the job, then you're just not going to survive as a photographer. You're going to have to do something else, um, and uh, so that's really. Uh, I think that's very very important. And how would you say? How would you say technology has changed your job, and what changes do you see in the future now? Oh well, you know, I started I started shooting film. Um, and I shot God knows how many rolls of film in my life. And I really, I, I went kicking and screaming into digital, but I, I still remember the day that uh, one of my clients from Vanity Fair, I used to shoot a lot of parties for Vanity Fair's marketing department. And they were one of my main clients. And they called me up one day and said, you know, if you don't start shooting digital, we're never gonna hire you again. So I said, fine. And I started shooting digital, and I really, I don't have any desire to go back to film. I love shooting digital. It's changed the job tremendously. It's made a lot of things easier. It's made some things more difficult. I think that um, there was definitely a shift towards clients going, oh, well, I don't need to hire a photographer. I just need to to buy a digital camera and let somebody in the office take pictures. And I think that eventually what happened was they realized that that wasn't working and things started shifting back towards, let's find a photographer who really knows what they're doing. So in terms of the way things that digital changed things was that uh, it de I think there was definitely a downturn for photographers and there was definitely a, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the goods and services that were dependent on on film are are gone. So I think that uh, it's it's impossible for me to say what technology is going to change in the future. I really, I don't know. I think that the one thing is that's never going to change is that, you know, you really, if you're going to need a photographer who, who can take a nice, beautiful picture of someone that's going to bring out their personality and who they are for use for publicity or, or any of that, um, you're going to need somebody who knows what they're doing. And, you know, no amount of changes in the technology are going to replace that. And what are other industries or positions where you could work with your skills or expertise? I could teach, which I do, and uh, but other than that, I think that photography is a you know, it's a very specific skill. Um, you know, you you could in learning what goes into shoots and all of that, you could end up actually producing photo shoots, big you know really big productions. Um, I know that some photographers end up going into filmmaking, but that's really an extension of photography. So, yeah, I, I really, I don't think there's that many things that, uh, that one can do as a, as a photographer other than photography. Okay. And what are opportunities for advancement in this occupation? Well, um, advancement in photography, I think basically means going to more prestigious or higher paying jobs. So, you know, you might start out doing headshots and end up doing 
publicity work and then end up doing advertising um, and then possibly, uh, you know, move on to doing, doing commercials and, you know, video and film and all that sort of thing. So I think that, um, you know, in terms of advancement, it's basically the level of the level of the job and you know, how much you're getting paid for that job. Well, well, thank you once again. This was an, a really great opportunity for me to interview you just because I'm working into my journalism career, but I also want to head into photography as well. So speaking to a really great photographer like you, it's been an amazing opportunity for me. So once again, thank you. Sure. Thank you. And good luck with your career. Thank you so much.